Welcome to the teachings of Ashanti. If you are new to this material, you can find more information about this material by clicking the links below the description to my Facebook group and my blog spot. If you want to receive notifications to future videos, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. Thank you. Node number 110. I want you to find a place where you can be alone for at least half an hour and not be disturbed. Find a comfortable sitting position or a lying position. Once you are lying down or sitting down, I want you to relax, take a few deep breaths, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. I want you now to focus on your feet. Relaxing the muscles in your feet and your ankle. Now we are moving up from the feet, up the bottom part of the leg, up to the knee. Relax those muscles. We're going further up from the knee, through the thigh muscles, up to the buttocks. Relax those muscles in the buttocks and the thighs. Moving to the front of the stomach area, release and relax there. Around the back again, the lower back muscles, up the back, up to the shoulder area, relax the whole of the back muscles. Coming around to the front again, across the chest, up to the shoulders. Relax the muscles in the torso. Feel yourself becoming weightless, as if you are lifting into the air on the bed or the chair. Relax those shoulder muscles. Going down the arms to the elbows. Relax the upper arm muscles. Now we're going down to the hands. Relax the hand muscles. We're going back up to the shoulders, into the neck area. Relax those stiff muscles in the neck. Up to the jaws, unclench those jaws. Relax the facial muscles, the eyelids, the forehead, right out up to the top of the scalp. Relax, deeply let go of all tension and stress. When you feel yourself completely relaxed, I want you to listen to the words of Ashanti. I want you to imagine that you're back in the beautiful forest setting. You are on a little path. You look straight ahead and you see a stone ark. You walk up to the stone ark and the stone ark starts to light up. This is a portal. It starts humming and it turns into a bright light. I want you now to step through the portal again. Step through that portal. And here you are on the other side. Before you lies the endless fields of the universal node. You feel the energy of that new lifeline flowing through you. You are now on your new lifeline. I want you to allow your heart to speak to you. What is the first step? or action that comes to mind concerning this new lifeline that you're on. Do you need to speak to someone? Do you need to go somewhere? Do you need to do something? 
For each person it would be different, for their particular lifeline. You will know in your heart what that first step or task is that you need to take on this new lifeline. Just allow the idea or ideas to come to you. Listen to the whispering of your heart. Here on this side of the portal, all things are possible. Time is no more. You are in the eternal now of this moment. In this moment, your answer and instruction will come. The first step or task to take on your brand new journey, your new lifeline. When you have received your answer, I want you to picture that action or step that you have to take in your imagination. Picture it as clearly as you can. Now, I want you to look at the field of the universal node in front of you. As you visualize your step or task you need to take, I want you to see an energetic copy of that task or step rise out of the field of the universal node right before you, forming a perfect copy of that task or step you need to take. An energetic copy composed of nodes. It looks just like the physical world of three dimensions. It is a perfect copy, yet it is composed entirely of nodes. The nodes take on the forms, colors, shapes, texture of the physical world. Yet these things are entirely composed of the energy of potentiality only. To your eyes it looks like physical reality. Yet when you reach out and touch the objects in front of you, there is no physical substantiality to them. It is pure energy. Now I want you to do something that you might never have done before. Your awareness is going to split in two for a moment. Your awareness, of course, cannot really split in two. But for clarity, I will have to explain it to you in this way. This is the only way you, your pri primarily three-dimensional mind will understand it. One part of your awareness is now separating. That part is now fusing to the energy structure composed of nodes right in front of you. It becomes one with the energy structure in a state of sha, oneness. Your other part of your awareness is observing this happening. The awareness part that is fusing with the energy structure is inside the energy structure of the task or step that you imagined. That part of your awareness is now absolutely one with this task or step. They are fused inseparably. You will complete this task or step automatically. It is now fused to your awareness. You now need to return to the other side of the portal again. There, in the physical world, you will complete this fused task or step that will lead you further on the path of your new lifeline. In this way, you will keep returning to the world on this side of the portal, the metaphysical world. You will keep on fusing your awareness to the next step or task or thing that you need to do. Each time you will listen to your heart, receive instructions for the next step or task from your heart. Once you've received it, you imagine that step or task vividly in your imagination. 
You see the energy structure rising out of the field of the universal mode. You separate in awareness and one part enters the energy structure and fuse with it in a state of sha. The other part observes this happening. This type of visualization may be unfamiliar with you. This is all part of the ring of Orna, the shifting and birthing of a new lifeline. I will continue to speak to you and your readers in the future. Continue with this and continue with this discussion. I wish you and the readers light and love. I want you now to start count, counting backwards from 10 to 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You can now open your eyes and start moving your muscles again. And here you are, back in the physical world. Thank you for listening. I will continue these discussions with you real soon.